friends. In this video, what we're going to talk about is we're going to start the basics of proving triangle congruency. We're not going to prove in this one. We're just going to start exploring triangle congruency. So remember the term congruency in mathematics is meaning that these things are the same. Okay. So our goal here is we're going to start trying to show that two triangles are the same, meaning that their angles and their sides are all the same. Now, again, proof means we're going to, without a doubt, it's true. All right. So in this lesson, we're just going to explore that idea. We'll prove in the next lesson. Okay, we've got three different ways that are really, really important that I need you to know to prove that a triangle is congruent. The first one's known as side, 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 and we abbreviate that as just SSS. So friends, if these two sides are the same, these two sides are the same, and these two sides are the same, then I have no choice. The interior angles will automatically then be the same, and we will then have triangle congruency. Okay, just like that. And in fact, friends, the angles depend on the side opposite. So these two are the same, right? These two are the same based on that one and so on and so forth. Okay, so side, side, side. The next one we can use is known as side angle side. So SAS, okay? Not the special error service if you're into that thing from the UK. So side angle side. So side angle side, and this is the thing that's really important here, friends, is that angle is sandwiched in between those two sides that are the same. Okay, so the angle has to be directly between the two, side angle side. And our last one, friends, is angle side angle, and so ASA. And so again, friends, what's important is the side has to be directly between the two angles that are the same. So our three types, like I said, are SSS, side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle. You are not allowed to use this angle, angle, angle. Just because the angles are the same, it doesn't tell me anything about the sides. We can't use SAA, it doesn't work. I can't use AAS, for instance, okay? I can't use this, can't use any of these. These are the only three that I'm allowed to use. Now, when we've proved that two triangles are congruent, what we're gonna say is this. To show that two things are congruent, I'm going to say, okay, I'm talking about a triangle, ABC, and I'm talking about triangle above XYZ. To show they're congruent, we're going to write this little symbol. It's an equal sign, but then it's this little like kind of squiggle above it, which tells that we're talking about a geometric shape. Okay, so that's what we'll write when something is congruent. All right, let's just try a couple of these. These ones are easy. So, Look at the following triangles. Can we determine for sure if they're congruent? So what I notice right off the bat is I see a side and a side, an angle and an angle, and a side and a side, and that angle is in between. So the answer is yes, because I have side, angle, side. What that tells me then, friends, is that everything else in the triangle is the same. So that's the same as that. That's the same as that. That's the same as that. Okay, side, angle, side. Awesome. Okay, what about this one? Well, what I have here is I have side, side, angle. Side, side, angle. No, you cannot prove for certain then that these two triangles are congruent. This is side, side, angle. It's no bueno. We can't do it okay so you again are only allowed to use side 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 angle side angle side angle all right now in the next video what we'll do is we'll actually prove triangle congruency it's going to be a little bit trickier all right so make sure you've mastered this before you move on to that this then that